get these assignments at first, you kind of have that moment of panic that's like, how am I supposed to do this? We give them actually this very difficult, large, unstructured problem. It's really hard to digest, right? Because we want, we want it to be so hard and so large, you know, from a freshman's point of view, that it, it makes them have to break it up into the smaller chunks. It makes them have to learn the engineering process right off the bat. And it took a while to actually process what they were asking. I had to like read through the design document and like go through it step by step to figure out what did they want and what were like the deliverables for the project. Engineering is hard, it's messy, but it's great too at the same time. Eventually you sit down, um, get those brainstorming ideas, just think about concepts that can solve the task. All of us had different ideas, different brainstorming sessions. The surface has some canyon walls that they can use to help triangulate where they are. They also have a simulated satellite system to help them locate where they are. And this one has a Bluetooth request, where am I, and get information like that. We're doing a number of things to try to simulate the lunar surface itself. It's a rough terrain and debris, it just is another hazard. We knew that the obstacles would probably mess up our robot, um, and we were really afraid that the GPS um, would work. It's very difficult to, to integrate, you know. We've got six, six or eight subsystems that all need to function uh, together, so that was quite challenging. It just came down to a lot of late nights. You have to do it with considering everything that could go wrong, everything that a client is going to want, and how you want to document that. So you have to incorporate all those different aspects into the project. There's a tendency for them to think, um, you know, if I, my goal is to drop this plastic box onto this, you know, printed target, right? And we do a lot of work to, to convince them it's, it's not target practice, right? The whole, the whole process there is to, uh, to actually teach them the engineering process. I think we did a really good job of trying to think of all the, you know, what ifs. We had three or four design prototypes before our final version, and so I think just that design process is something that is really helpful to learn. They teach you really well how to break down tasks and how to just delegate everything and plan everything out. Some of them can actually design the logic and then hand it over to the expert and they'll actually do the program, but they all understand the general uh, logic of what it's supposed to do and how it's supposed to do it. We want to show them we're, we're problem solved. Right, we, we tackle the hard problems. You know, it's really eye-opening just to how everything is going to be in industry when you're actually at a job and you actually get some project and you have to work with people. It's not going to be like a high school project where you just have to make a robot. You have to 